The same is going to happen in energy, and it's already happened in energy. How many of you are really enthusiastic about corn ethanol? Raise your Ooh! That is the first time in like two years I've gotten someone to raise their hand in favor of corn ethanol. Thank you very much. Corn ethanol is a terrible idea. <laughs> It's the wrong feedstock, it's the wrong fuel, it's <laughs> and the folly in it, I claim this is an example, excuse me, I didn't mean to embarrass you, but I did. <laughs> yes, I did, I did. Uh, I claim it's a categorization error because the people who, well-intended people who ran to Washington to get um, uh, subsidies that would make uh, the production of renewable fuels with corn ethanol forgot that Feed, food, and fuel are not actual hard categories. Yes? Uh, I'd like to relate to that for a second, because you're making a point that I think is, is actually reflecting sort of an impending, Im impending crisis of finance. Because if you would have looked three years ago, the, the common sense and, the, and every smart person around in the newspapers, up as people in VCs, would have invested in, in, uh, in corn ethanol. You saw so many articles discussing it, et cetera. So we're in, a, in, a, in an age where a paradigm rises so quickly and then it just declines so quickly. So if you want to, for instance, if you're a company that wanted to devise a smarter way to, to harness ethanol for, for, um, for energy, um, so two years ago you could have gotten you know, funding, but today people saw what happened with ethanol and they're telling you, you know what, two years from now someone's going to come up with a better idea from yours and by the time you get to the market three to five years, I'm just not going to fund that because you know, in three to five years it's going to be something smarter and they're going to figure out what's wrong with, with your I'd idea. Like, I'd like to ask you to stop your yep. question okay. because you're giving half my talk. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I'm going to return to this point. Um, and, and corn ethanol did seem like a good idea to a lot of people because, for example, the United States Congress passed laws. That means there's at least 51 senators and 200 and some odd congressmen thought this was a good idea or got cajoled into thinking it was a good idea. The, the, there's sort of two upsides here. One is that maybe it's transitional technology that's paving the way for what's to come later. You, you've just made the opposite argument that it actually poisoned the well. Uh, the other advantage is the money is now being wasted in the Middle West instead of the Middle East, which is, which is progress. 